Pidgeotto. I'm glad that you're giving us this nice little breeze. Gardevoir, I'm not gonna lie. It's really, I'm really glad that Ida and them don't see. Oh, yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back. You know, I was just telling Gardevoir, right? I'm glad people didn't see us because people would have really thought I was the. I was about to say something, but I forgot. It's the intro. But welcome back, everybody. <laughs> welcome back to another beautiful episode of Pokemon Unbreakable Ties. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And if you are, I am definitely glad that you are. Uh, what I was gonna say, just just so that, just in case, like you know, a lot of y'all that believe in you know the people fucking Gardevoir shit. I was, I had no, I didn't even know Gardevoir was out, bro. I, I promise y'all, I was just looking out at the like nice little. Let's see what they got going on. What's good? It's been a good oh bet. Um wait, hold on. So what are we doing? Wait, no, I'm good. So are we chilling? Let me see. I, I guess we're chilling. I mean, let me see. I'm I guess I'm not gonna lie, there's not really much more that we can do but go back to Cardinal City. Because I went Oh damn, so we did have to go back to Cardinal City. I right, bet. Well guys, it's getting late. We should get some dinner. I hope you guys had a good time, Latios and Latias. Y'all both really had fun today, huh? Oh, a lot is sad, man. Don't worry, Latias. We'll play again soon, okay? Damn, it just took one to cheer her up? That's crazy. Yo, who said that? Oh, that was Ralts. Yeah, there's a Ralts in this bit. I forgot. Of course, Latios. We'll see each other again soon. They've been trying to act cool with that, man. Wait, hold up. What Pokemon made that noise? Who would have thought that Latios and Derek would get along? That's a fact, bro. Who would have thought indeed? I think you're wrong. Latios owed me some fun after he hit Ida. Wait, what? Oh, you really admitted that? Come on, bro. Why don't y'all just date already, bro? What the fuck is y'all doing? The more he talks, the more he messes up. <laughs> they making that man blush. Wait, where he going? My boy, always the same. Wait, that's your son? <laughs> JK, JK. Anyways. Latias, Latios, Adrian, and I will come back to sleep with you later tonight. See you then, kids. Be very careful, okay? All right, laters. I have a bad feeling about this, bro. No cap. I had so much plan. Don't say that shit out loud. Hold on, wait. Oh, no, wait. What's wrong, Ditto? Is there something over there? Come on, let's go. Or we must, or we must dinner. Yeah, I peeped her. That girl said, Latias and Latios? Majime. In the end, it was worth following the kid after all. I didn't expect this. The former princess and the Eon Pokemon were hiding right behind there. So, the rumors we heard about that the former... Uh, so, the rumors that we heard that the former princess would come to Cardinal City were true. I didn't think he would be so good at this. That man has no heart. Is she talking about the king or uh, what's his name? Aldridge, bro. That little. Wait, it's time to act cautiously. I will inform the royal family. We'll need as much support as possible. Oh, shit. I think they said they were going to the bar. We should get there. All right, let's head to the bar, bitch. Let's see what they got going on. Oh, wait, hold on. Now that it's nighttime, right? That one dumbass that was like singing to the freaking whatever that um that mon was should be out the way let me see move 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 pardon me yo where the bar why would you get in my way yeah there we go this the stupid nigga that was singing to the goddamn duck clip goofy ass nigga wait this is the bar right bar stones there we go it's my place i've wanted to go to a bar with friends wait who the fuck geo dude is over here serving bit i've wanted to go to a bar with friends for a long time i want my beer now you're a lightweight chill bro relax well, calm down. You're not even of legal age to be drinking. Ahem. <clears throat> I think a llama owes us an explanation of everything that's been happening. First of all, if it's not a bother, I'd like to apologize for what happened earlier in the garden. Don't worry, you didn't know. It was all a misunderstanding, you feel me? Now that I remember, I haven't even introduced this chick yet. Her name is Celeste. Wait, who? Oh, what? Oh, damn, and I was going to look to challenge her. Oh, shit. You're telling us this just now? I want a gym battle tomorrow. No excuses. Of course. Oh, damn. She's real lenient with that. By the way, have you gotten the first two? Man, why? <laughs> Professor, come on now. Oh, I feel like she getting finer and finer like each sprite, bro. I swear. Is it just me or is, is it like do y'all be noticing the same thing too? Hello. She's a bit upset. The first time I heard about the professor being upset. 
Olivia told me that you made contact with the royal family. Why would you try to help me? If I never mentioned anything, it's because I don't want anything to happen to you. And listen, both Ida and Jiraiya especially are um, up to your necks in the matter. Well, we only got in the middle a couple of times. And now, the news from the best channel in Akebia. What the hell? It looks like they're going to say something in the news. Oh, shit. Oh, what? And they're going to put us on full blast? Really? And thanks to them, the mayor is still alive. They're the only ones in this world who have defied the royal family's orders. Why is this bitch put really putting us out like that? They are the saviors of Cardinal City. Now they about to raid Cardinal City, bruh. We risked our lives to broadcast this report on live television. We hope this in the, <laughs> we hope this shit right here ain't our last news report. Wait, that's Jiraiya and Ida. What the hell? What did you do? What did I just say? The fuck? <laughs> well, uh, I guess we did get into some problems with the royal family. <laughs> But we couldn't let anything happen to the mayor. Those people make me so angry. Facts, me too. We didn't know anything about that. We've been taking care of Latias and Latios since this morning. Now I understand why there wasn't a single grunt guarding the area. You two messed up their plans. I mean, no shit, dickhead. Come on, bruh. Anyway, I guess they have their eyes on you now. If it wasn't for us, they would have been caught, y'all. Wait, what? Hide your identity? What do you mean? Wait, Ida, you didn't put two and two together? Derek too? Hold up. The reality is that my name isn't Alama, nor am I a real teacher. Wait, her name's not Alama? All of that is just a cover. A cover? I suspected the teacher thing for years. <laughs> Stupid nigga. Wait, her real name is Lilith Armstrong? Oh shit, I, that was way past what I was like freaking thinking. Holy Christ. Wait, Armstrong? There's only one current family with that surname in the region. That means... That's right. I belong to the royal family. Isn't it your own family that's looking for you right now? That's a good thing, right? Unfortunately, it's quite the opposite. It's a bit of a long story, but somehow someone managed to reveal my relationship with Latias and Latios. In fact, the royal family no longer needs me, as the throne was passed to my younger brother. That little nigga with the attitude who's champion right now? However, they're looking for me because they need information that I only possess. How do you still don't understand? Wouldn't you be the successor of the throne? Yes, I mean, I was supposed to be the successor. Princess Lilith. But I completely rejected it. Damn, really? Rejected it? I don't think it was that simple, right? As Derek says, it really wasn't that simple. My only chance to free myself from that life was to escape from the royal palace. I mean, I've I seen it coming. I would see that shit coming from a mile away. If I was in the royal family, my nigga, hold up. I still remember the night of blood. Just like night of blood, hold up, what? What you should know is that the royal family is after a power that only I know of. It's the spear that contains the soul of Latios. The greatest source of emotions in this world, capable of, of increasing the bonds of your Pokemon to a level far beyond level 100. It's like gear five type shit. Does that mean you could become a much more powerful trainer if you possess the Spear of Latios? I imagine the royal family is after it to maintain their reign forever. In the end, the military strength of this world is based on the strength of their Pokemon trainers. Oh shit, that's a fact too. Bitch, and they have me right here. I can like sweep that, that entire royal family right now if I felt like it, my nigga. But level cap is like, you know, like limiting, limiting me. I almost fucked that word up. I suppose that's the case, am I wrong? Indeed, if they were to possess the spear, the dictatorship would live in the um the dictatorship we live in right now would be irreversible. My fault, y'all. I was like trying to like figure like trying to understand why Derek is trying to sound like he he's smart as shit. He understands he already knows what's going on, right? Hold up. That's why they need me. Uh yeah, that's wild. I'm the only one who knows the location of the spear. Oh, do you now? How you still, I mean, I wouldn't blame her. She, she hungry. She want her beer. Look, listen, I don't really give a fuck who you are or what you were before or who you are now. The only thing I want is for you to be happy and to come back with us. And if the royal family comes for you, we'll beat them up. Hey, I, I like Ida. That's right. No one will touch our teacher. Right, Jiraiya? They all know who the fuck I am, bro. Come on, man. They lucky I ain't got this Lucario. 
Yeah, we do. They, she do got the best students. Speaking of students, what about Lilivia? It's true. You don't even know who I am. Facts. Lilith's professor. I mean, assistant. Oh, after her escape in the, from the royal palace, I was still a child at the time, and she took me as she took care of me like an older sister. At the time, at that time, uh, Latios and Latios lived on a southern island, the place where Lilith and I grew up. Oh shit! Someday we'll tell you the story in more detail. Bet. Ahem, apologize. Ahem, I apologize for distrusting you the other day. Damn, that just happened. Wait, what? Only the other day? God damn! I felt like it was like a millennium ago. Don't worry, that's all in the past. Oh shit, yeah, yo, Professor, I'm sorry, but you're... By the way, do you have a place to sleep here? Since you're trustworthy people I and helped the marry this morning, I'll talk to the people at the Miramar Hotel. Wait, speaking of kids, where did that boy go? He finished his dinner and just suddenly left. Rodolfo, what could he be doing right now? Wait. Another night alone, huh, Ditto? Oh, nah, wait, am I about to get my feelings? Let me hold up. Another night alone, huh, ditto. Ditto! I still remember that night we met. What would have be- Ah. What would have become of me if I stayed in the orphanage? Oh, shit. I guess you're right. It's no use thinking about that now. But I can't help it. Where could my real parents be? Is it normal for a kid to be- Um, is it normal for a kid like me to be wandering around growing up? In the end, I had to build this tough kid persona, so nothing bad happens to us in this world, ditto. Oh man, so that's why he's trying to play cool, bro. I fuck with him, bro. On top of that, they always have to help me. I mean, bro, all you gotta do, you gotta ditto. You're, I, I feel as though you are capable enough to be able to beat some trainers, get money out of them, get some pokeballs. Then on top of that snag like about two months then go challenge the first gym leader get money from them and then build your way up like i did bro come on jariah lilivia a llama <laughs> i'm just a burden to them is it even worth continuing to live like this being a burden and pretending to be something i'm not yo chill bro don't say such nonsense kid hey you're the old woman with the broken back oh shit <laughs> hey you're the old woman with the broken back <laughs> Bro, chill, bro. Hey, I came here to cheer you up. This is why I hate kids. Damn, I feel for her, though. You know, you don't understand. My life is garbage. What the fuck? Oh, she lighting the little Siggy. Look, kid, we all have our issues. I haven't had an easy life myself, you know? Those of you, those of us who end up working for the royal family often, it's because we had nowhere else to go. In my case, they chose me for my high level as a Pokemon trainer. That was the only thing that I was good at. But now that I'm no use to them, they're gonna try to end my life for sure. Still, kid, you have to cling on to life no matter what. The last thing you should do is lose hope. There's always a solution for everything. Life is worth living. There's always something that will make you happy. Hmm. Friends, family, goals, dreams. Even if your life is horrible, there will always be something to fight for. Yeah. Hmm, I think I understand. Oh, looks like people are coming. I should go. It'll be a problem if they find me. Remember to stay strong and take care of those who love you. Fighting for others is much more valuable than just fighting for yourself. That's what I managed to remember for my mother, thanks to her. Hope this is... I hope this ain't our last chat, kid. Damn. All right, baby girl. Later. Damn. Bruh, what a sentimental last. Hey, Rodolfo. Yo, what's good? They didn't see Shorty that was coming through. Would you like to sleep with the hotel? Uh, would you like to sleep at the hotel or do you prefer to sleep in the garden with us? I'll go wherever you go, Alama. Perfect. Aw, that's, that's adorable. She could probably adopt him. Adopt him, if anything. Take care of the people I love. I think I was very lucky meeting them. Facts, bro. Let's go, Ditto. We have something very important to do for our friends. I think it's time to leave a mark on this story. Hey, I fuck with that. That's nice. That's nice. They said something about going to a hotel. I think it's somewhere in the center area. All right, let's go to this hotel real quick. It's the center area, right? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. We was in the center area the entire time. The pizzeria is right there. The bar is up there. 
Where the hell would the hotel be at? It gotta look fancy, bro. If, if it's not a fancy looking hotel, I don't want to stay in that bitch. Why would I want to stay in a... Oh, what's good? This the hotel? Oh, yeah, this the hotel for a fact. Say less. Good looking out. Oh, damn, this shit clean. Real clean, too. Hold on, they got a little bit of moss over here? Nah. Yo, what's good, bro? You didn't think I'd be... Oh, you can't even sleep. Leftovers. Ah, you son of a bitch. I should slap the shit out of him, bro. I thought he was really giving me, like, you know, leftovers. Sometimes I hear noises coming from this room. They seem to be having fun. Hold up, this room right here? Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't mean to intrude like that. Oh, thank you, baby girl. I know I'm living in luxury, but you ain't had to do it. You ain't had to do all that. I only got 5,000 steps on this dumbass egg still, bro. There's no way. I could have sworn I've been running around this bitch the entire time. I could, I should at least have at least 8,000 steps on me right now. Yo, what's good? Oh, hello. They extend, extend all this bitch. Oh, that man is slumped. Okay, that man, he got two black glasses. What the fuck? He, he out of there. He out of there for real. That bitch, he must have had pizza. Ah, shit. You trained the master, right? Fuck. I wasn't expecting that. Boom shakalaka nigga. Move out my fucking way. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, let's go to floor two. And even though there were stairs for me to take. But anyways, fuck. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, look at this. Nobody in this room? Crazy. Should have been my room, if anything. I believe our room is should be next. Would you like to have a Charmander? Sure. Well, I'm not giving you. Well, I'm not giving it to you. What a lazy Pokemon. Fuck. Oh, I should. Mmm, you're lucky, bro. Bitch ass nigga. He lucky. Talking about I'm lazy, bitch. I'm not gonna find a fucking Charmander, stupid. Alright. Everybody here? Today's been a dream, huh, Derek? It wasn't that great. I don't know what you did this. Um, I don't know what you did during this morning, but Jirai and I were at the museum. You must have been at the library, right? How'd you know? <laughs> I know you just like a mother would. This nigga. Damn. So basically Derek just told her it's none of her Well, no, let me let, let me fill y'all in. Um let me fill y'all in real quick. She told Derek something about like a mom joke and he took it to heart. And then she said, Oh wait, hold on, my fault. D but did you at least get some info in the library about your family? Then this nigga said, you shouldn't be my, you should be minding your own damn business. It's only got shit to do with me, not you. Then she's talking about now. How is it none of my business? We've been friends since we were kids. Drop it, Ida. I don't want you to mention it again. Bitch ass nigga. I swear, bro. You're always the same. You keep all your problems to yourself and never tell us what's going on. We're here to help you, if anything. And all you do is avoid any topic that bothers you. Get out of my room, now. But, but. You know what? I'm leaving. I'm fed up. Do whatever you want. Keep everything to yourself and keep hurting yourself. Get out of the way, Jiraiya. What the fuck? What did I do? Damn, bruh. Yo, man. Like, why? Cuh. I f Look, I feel... Bro, I'm about to go to sleep, bro. Uh, no. Not at all. I heard the whole thing, smiley face. Fuck it. I see. There's no need for me to say anything, then. Guess you want to sleep. I'll turn off the light. Hey, Jiraiya. Do you think I made the wrong choice? I mean, no shit, nigga. It's your business, bro. Not mine. Hmm. Should I be fucked up and say that? Nah, you fucked up, bro. Always been a very closed off guy. I don't like sharing my problems with people. Ida always tries to help me with everything she can. But I don't want to be a burden on everyone. My father told me, oh wait, my father taught me to deal with my problems on my own. I don't need anyone's help. Why would you listen to your fucking dad? Your dad's a dick, my nigga. He's a dick to you and you're not a dick to others. Like, why would you listen to the nigga, bro? Come on. Although now that I think about it, was I always like this? No, bro. Look at yourself. You want to help people. Wait, hold up. Y'all heard that? Maybe all of this is because of the upbringing, um... Maybe all this is because of the upbringing I received since my mother's death. Oh, I'm 
out of there. What do you think, Jiraiya? Jiraiya? He fell asleep. Damn him. <laughs> bro, I'm tired, bro. Come on. You know it's been a crazy day. Feels good to explain my problems to someone. Good night, Jiraiya. I wasn't even trying to hear that shit, bro. I was just trying to be... Oh, shit. What's good, Riri? I think I fell asleep. What time is it? What's up, Riri? Kla! Hit him with a quick high five. That's right. Derek and Ia must have gone uh, Must have gone to go challenge the gym. I'll go see where they are. Hey, hey, hey. We got enough time, too. Let, let me go challenge the gym real quick. I need me a um, gym badge. Wait, hold up. I was about to say. Also, there was an upstairs. Yo. All right. So where does gym at? This gym of mine. Well, it's not really my gym, if anything, but the gym should be somewhere around this bitch, bro. We came in from right here. That, that's going to lead to a route. He's looking for something. I forgot what, what that bitch is looking for, but I'm not really interested in helping right now. Uh, that was the little shit that uh, where Rodolfo was at. This is the little pizzeria. The gym got to be somewhere over here. Is it here? This is the east side. East side. Oh, this is the gym. Yo, it was good. Good morning, Dryer. Or maybe it's not so good. Derek got ahead of me, and I even got up. Um, and I even got up early. Let's have a battle, Dryer. I need a vent right now. Really? Ida, what? Hey, 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 hey. Ida, what? It's good. Hey, hey. First of all, Ida, don't try me like that. Really? Bet that. Watch this. Oh, you're going to use a hyper potion? You're lucky I ain't got no full restore. Eat the leftovers all you want, baby girl. What? That's crazy that that counts as a fucking, like, you know, thingy. He's, why would you miss, dog? Oh, my goodness. You're so fucking annoying. Shithead, bro. I swear. How would you fucking miss? How do you miss that, bro? Take your ass on. Good thing I had. Good thing I have you, bro. Feebas. Let's see. Let's bring out Miggy. Miggy with a good ass. Uh, seed bomb. Beam. Goodbye. And she's gonna bring out who? Axe you, bro. Nah. Wait. Hold on. Nah, I'm not trying to be rude, y'all. I, I didn't mean it as in who axed you, right? I meant like you know, axe you, the Pokemon. Haha. <laughs> that, that just got one shot, dude. Goofy, nigga. And then, you know what? We're just going to send you out. Yo, this was an easy-ass battle. I'm not even over-leveled. That's the thing. Uh, Smackdown <coughs> versus Raw, bitch. And that bitch was the raw one. That's crazy as hell. My head's not in the right place. I lost because of Derek. That's a cap. Big cap. Sorry. I think I'm a bit calmer now. Yeah, relax, baby girl. Chill. Anyways, I'll go play with... Don't say that shit out loud. These two niggas probably don't even know what's going on. Oh, have you been to the aquarium yet? They say it's quite beautiful. You should go stop by. See you later. Well, she went to go play with Latias. This is an Eon restaurant. Where? Oh, is this the aquarium? Hold on. Wait a minute. What? The royal family is like guarding the aquarium. So what the hell? Hmm. Oh, shit. You can't enter the aquarium right now. What? You're not going to move? Isn't this the kid who was on TV? Oh, y'all are the royal family. I thought y'all was security. Ah, shit. What's going on inside the aquarium? Hey, 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 hey. Hold up. What's going on here? Ah, ah. These niggas, they mean business. Drain punch him. Boom. There we go. Beam. Okay, there we go. Take both of them out. I know. Face that. Oh, chill out. Chill out. Boom. Drain punch you, kind of. Really? All right. Bet. Headbutt. Really? Easy. Give me my fucking HP back. All right. We got you out in the bag. Laters. We were only supposed to stand guard. Damn it. Wait. What do we do now? Our lady is still in there. I don't want to even think about the consequences. My hands are shaking. Let's run for it. I don't want to die. Whoa, what's going on there? You know what? How about I end the episode off right over here? We're going to figure out what's going on inside this aquarium right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, 
please leave a like down below um subscribe for some more pokemon unbreakable ties actions we don't know what's about to happen in this next episode we might even have to save an aquarium bro what's going on in this city my niggas this city is crazy as hell bro it's like we got to save the we had to save the museum then now wait after the aquarium wait hold up i just realized after the aquarium bitch we have to go like protect the garden of dreams bro okay so we got crazy shit going on for us in the later series or whatever it is hope you guys enjoyed uh i will catch you on that next episode or the next video peace hey